Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Allie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm so happy that you're here. Today we are going to do a cook and clean with me. I used to do these all the time on my channel and it's been a really long time since I've done one, so this is going to be fun. Today I am sharing with you a really fun and easy fall recipe. Easy recipes are my jam. This is a one pot recipe, um, which also is my jam. I can't take credit for this recipe, it's not my own, but I will show you guys kind of how to make the recipe. I'll just leave out the um, measurements and then I will link the recipe for you guys in the description box below. And then we're going to clean up the kitchen after dinner, after cooking. So hope you guys enjoy. Follow me on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch if you want to and also I'd love it if you considered subscribing to my channel. We'd love to have you be a part of our YouTube family. Every day I fill up my diffuser. This is the Aria diffuser from Young Living. It is my favorite of all time. I can have it linked in the description box below for you guys. And I'm doing a really fun fall blend. I call this Cozy Cinnamon Apples and it's Cinnamon Devana which smells like apples and nutmeg. And I actually got rid of candles three years ago, but I made my own this week out of beeswax. And so I cannot wait to share that with you guys. It's really fun. Before we get into cooking, I always like to clean up the kitchen and start with a clean slate. It just makes the whole cooking process more enjoyable for me. So I'm throwing a few dishes into the dishwasher and I'm gonna just wipe down the counters and clear them off. And then we're gonna get to cooking. I wanted to show you guys this. I thought it was pretty cool. So the night before I had steamed artichokes and forgot about it and the water burned out. This whole pot had been completely black, but I put some vinegar and baking soda into this pan and let it sit overnight and it washed right out no problem Now on to the dinner recipe. So this is pumpkin chili, which might sound a little different, but the pumpkin addition is very, very tasty. It goes really well. I actually make another chili and I put it over sweet potato fries. So the pumpkin and sweet potato really goes well with chili spices and flavors. So this is definitely a recipe that you're gonna want to give a try. I actually got this recipe from Farmhouse on Boone. I love her. I think she is the best. Everything about her is just goals. But yeah, that's where I got this recipe from. So I'm just starting by chopping up the veggies, pumpkin, bell pepper. You can do green or red. I did one of each. I can see the road ahead of me. I won't be stumbling in the dark. Then chop up lots of onion. Also chop up lots of garlic. This is a prep heavy meal, so if you wanted to prep everything ahead of time and then come time to cook dinner, you could throw it all in the pan. It'd be super easy to do it that way. And then you're gonna add some spices, ground cumin and ground chili. Feels like I can fly. Can take me high. And then add in some bone broth. I'm using chicken here, and I don't know why I measured this out. It called for four cups, which would be one carton, but I guess I wasn't thinking, and so I measured it out. I can't get close enough and I was so you're gonna give this all a really good stir, and then turn the heat on to high just to bring the heat up and get it boiling. Then you're gonna turn it down and let it kind of simmer for about 20 minutes. 
And now it's time for the canned goods. You can either use fresh tomatoes or canned. I went with canned. You can also use fresh beans and soak them and cook them yourself. But just for the sake of ease, I'm using canned. And I'm using black bean and kidney beans, but you can get kind of creative here and use whatever beans you'd like. And then you're gonna brown some ground beef and make sure you strain off a lot of that grease. Once the ingredients that are in the pot have simmered for about 20 minutes, you'll add your ground beef and your beans to the pot, give it all a good stir, and add in your tomatoes. This recipe makes a lot of chili. As you can see, this is a big pot, and I actually like that because we like to freeze half of it, and then on a cold night, where maybe we're really busy or we're just craving some nice warm chili. We can pull it out of the freezer and it's all ready to go. But in this case, tonight, we actually gave half of it to my parents. So not a bad thing in my eyes and it makes so much chili. And then you can get creative with the toppings. We did sour cream and avocado, but you can add cheese, sprinkle with chips. This is such a great recipe and I hope you guys give it a try. Moving on to our fall dessert, this is Baked stuffed apples, super easy and definitely a fan favorite. So the first thing you're gonna do is core some apples. I recommend using an apple core, but I didn't have one. And you're just gonna remove the core from the apples. And now I'm gonna make the filling. All you need is some butter, some oats, and some cinnamon. But I want you close. You'll mix that together in a bowl, make sure your butter is softened to make it easier. And then you're gonna put your apples in a nine by nine baking dish. And then you're gonna stuff the apples with that filling. And I just use my hands, that's the easiest way that I've found. But make sure you stuff them nice and full. There's one last component to this recipe and that is this sauce that they will bake in. So to a small pot on the stove, you're gonna add water, brown sugar and cinnamon and butter, I believe. Yep, lots of butter. And you're gonna bring that just to a boil and then you're gonna take it off the stove and spoon some of that sauce over the top of the apples. And then I went ahead and poured the rest into the bottom of the dish. But I want you close. And then you're gonna put your apples in the oven and bake them. Halfway through, you are going to kind of baste the apples, put some of that sauce back over the top of the apples and then bake them for a little while longer. They do take a while to bake, so I would just take that into consideration, but such a yummy recipe. You guys are gonna love this. My kids loved it, but I think the person who enjoyed this recipe the most was Andrew. We served them warm, which is the best in my opinion, and we put them in a bowl and then topped them with some vanilla ice cream. And now it's time to clean up the kitchen. The kitchen actually was not that bad, which is surprising for me, but I think it's because it was a one pot dish that I made for dinner. And the cleanup on those types of dishes are very minimal, which is another reason why they are my favorite. So all I'm gonna do is start putting things away, taking the dishes to the sink, we're gonna wash them. And I'm also gonna do a few more deep cleaning type things here in the kitchen.
when I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing. So I'd love to know how you guys are doing and what you've been up to this fall. Have you done any fall fun activities, gone apple picking, or gone to the pumpkin patch? I cannot believe that it is October already. Actually, we're halfway through October, which is mind-blowing to me. But we have a lot of things going on this month. We have so many birthdays. Andrew, which is my husband, my son Oakley's third birthday is this month. My parents both have a birthday one of Andrew's grandmas, one of my cousins. So this is a very birthday heavy month. So that's what we'll be doing a lot of. But I also wanna do some fall things. We haven't done any of it this year. Emmy is in kindergarten and she gets to go to the pumpkin patch. So one of us will probably go along with her, but I kinda of wanna go as a whole family. And then of course, we're gonna do some trick or treating come Halloween time. So we're all looking forward to that. What are your kids dressing up as for Halloween? Oakley is going to be Spider-Man and Emmy decided she wanted to be a unicorn fairy and when she told us that we thought that was kind of an odd thing to want to be like an odd combination and one day we walked into Costco and sure enough there was a unicorn fairy costume so Emmy must have known what she was talking about she must have seen it somewhere so that's what she's gonna be for Halloween but what are your kids gonna be Kids do some weird things. I don't know where Andrew and I were at this moment that this happened, but the kids were eating their dessert here and then they both decided to pour their water into their bowls when they were finished. So that's what I was cleaning up in that scene right there. I know I'm not alone. I'm sure everybody's kids do some weird things, but I'm always finding the most random, bizarre things and I always wonder what what are my kids thinking in this moment when they are doing this and making this decision they're pretty cute though it's hard to be mad at them nobody loves me better nobody loves me better guess I'm just too scared to settle down there'd be many nights I got too high and almost left town but there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better I wanted to let the chili cool down a little bit before I put it away, but here I am divvying it up and I'm gonna save some for us and then send some home with my parents. I, I'm telling you, this chili makes so, so much. We had enough for our dinner tonight, also enough for my parents to have dinner and leftovers for us. So it basically was like three meals out of this one recipe. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, nobody loves me better We are who we are Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color around us Sky. 
If you guys are looking for some good cookware, I highly recommend Caraway, which is what this pot is that I'm washing right now. We've been using our Caraway pots and pans for a long time now and we've loved them. They've held up so great. As long as you are careful with the utensils that you use, make sure you only use either plastic or wood, no metal, because that will scratch the non-stick surface. But these are truly non-toxic too, which is kind of hard to find with uh, non-stick cookware. But they're also really pretty. They come in a lot of really pretty colors. So I'll link um, my set down below. If you guys are interested in it, I highly recommend them. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Ain't no one stopping you. Stopping you. Try to express yourself in your own way. Problems coming in our way. I would like you just the way you are. And you would like me just the way I am. And I would like you just the way you are. The way you are. Oh. Keep on doing what you do. Doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do. I got a new cleaning tool and I'm kind of excited about it. I've been wanting one of these for a long time and I finally bit the bullet. I don't know what took me so long. They're really affordable from Amazon. I'll link the one that I have here, but it's a razor blade basically and I am gonna use this on so many things. As you can see here, I'm using it to scrape some cooked on stuff off of our glass cooktop. If you use it correctly, it does not scratch and I know I'm gonna, <laughs> I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these, so I'll link the ones I have below. You know you're an adult when you get excited about new cleaning products, especially one like this, but look at all the gunk it scraped off. It really does work really good. I'm also now gonna use my barkeeper's friend to clean my glass cooktop as well as a scrub daddy sponge. I know this is green just like the one I used in the sink, but I promise you it is not the same one. That would be kind of gross because sinks are gross. So, just wanted to clarify, I have a whole bunch of these scrub daddy sponges and this is not the same one. If you saw my latest nighttime cleaning routine, you know that I have to vacuum my floors almost every night before I go to bed. This is our highest traffic area in the house, the kitchen, as well as this breakfast nook area, and it gets very dirty very fast, and I also have a almost, oh, he is nine months old. My nine month old baby is crawling all over the floor, and if he ever sees any little speck, immediately he puts it in his mouth. So I'm always vacuuming, especially at this stage of our life with little kids who drop a lot of food and things on the floor and then a nine month old who will pick all of it up and put it in his mouth. To vacuum, I'm using my LG cordless stick vacuum. I have used this vacuum for years now and it's held up great. It is on the pricier side, but because it's lasted us so long, I think it's well worth it. It has great suction, and my favorite part about it is that it comes with two batteries, so you can charge one while you're using the other, and it just allows you to vacuum more space and for longer. We used to have a Dyson, and I could only vacuum you know, one room at a time because the, the battery would die, and then I would have to wait for it to charge again, but that never happens with this vacuum. And then I am mopping my floor, which if you guys know me, is actually a miracle. It is the number one chore that I hate the most. And so I usually will wait and have Andrew do it for me. He's a saint. But I, I don't know, I was just feeling inspired tonight. And so I pulled out this spray mop. I use my Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate, which I also use on my countertops. You saw me using that earlier. I just put that in the spray mop and mop the floors. The heads are replaceable on this mop. So if I am gonna mop, 
I also have a no cedar mop, which is pretty nice too, but if I am gonna mop, I usually use this one because it's so quick and easy. That is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for being here, for hanging out and watching. I hope you enjoyed the recipes that I shared. I hope you guys will try them. If you do make those recipes, will you tag me on Instagram and let me know? That way I will see it. I hope you guys will also subscribe to my channel. You can go ahead and do that now if you wanna join our YouTube family. You can also follow me on Instagram at Ali underscore Gooch, but I also have another Instagram account at Ali Gooch YT, and there I'm sharing things about YouTubing, how to grow your channel, how to make money. I'm sharing all of the insider secrets there. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week. If you want to catch up on some videos in the meantime before my next video drops, then go back and rewatch. I have playlists on cleaning, cooking, decorating, routines, motherhood, all of that. So go and binge those videos. And I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.